you know the basics of front-end web development like HTML, CSS and JavaScript and you also know the basics of back-end development for example making an API. What next? What should you do now? What should you explore next? So this is your friend the Lean Programmer and in today's video we are going to discuss the three technologies that you can explore and learn before 2020 ends. So do watch this video till the end and do like, share and comment so that it can reach more people and help more people. So I hope you guys are doing well and are super excited about the three technologies that I'm going to discuss with you guys today that you can learn before 2020 ends and these technologies can actually help you guys level up your web development game. So let's get started. But before getting started, I'm going to discuss with you something really cool that can actually help you out to learn these particular technologies within the given time frame of three months which are remaining in 2020, October, November and December. So let's get started. So this is something which I call the 2010 rule which I recommend a lot to people. This is very simple. So take out the time frame that you have and divide it into 30 parts. Spend 20 parts out of those 30 parts into learning and 10 parts, the remaining 10 parts into implementing a side project. Let me take a very simple example. So let's say you are devoting 30 days, which is equivalent to a month. Let's say you are devoting a month to learn a new technology. So first 20 days, you are going to do some course or you're going to read the documentations or you are going to read the blogs or anything. So just very simple, just enroll in some Udemy or Coursera or any particular course or just do some YouTube tutorial videos and follow along whatever they are teaching you and then uh, try to complete it within 20 days and the remaining 10 days try to implement a side project that can actually help you figure out how much you have learned. So this has a lot of advantages. For example, within 30 days, you can actually get started with a new technology. After 30 days, you will also have uh, a certificate which you have got through uh, the, the course which you have completed. Plus, you will also have a side project which you made on your own within 10 days. You can write blog about it. You can make a YouTube video about it. You can write about it on LinkedIn and so on. You can also use it. Probably you can also mention about it in your portfolio or in your, let's say, resume. So yes, uh, try to follow this rule and try to explore the three technologies which I am going to tell you in this video in October, November and December. So let's get started. So the first thing is React, Redux and Webpack. So without a doubt, React is ruling the tech industry right now, the, especially the front end development. And it is so much used. It is so easy to learn. It is it is so much loved by the developers all around the world. And trust me, it makes your life as a front end web developer so much easy. So React is currently one of the most popular JavaScript libraries for front end development. And the trend shows that it is going to remain one of the most famous as well. So here are the resources which you can use so if you're looking for some free resources probably you can check out this tutorial video i am going to uh, add a link to these these videos and all these resources in the comment section so you can go through them or if you're going to pay a little bit of money then you can check out this course the complete react developer course by andrew mead and this is a very good course i haven't done this but i have done a few courses from andrew andrew mead and i can definitely say that he is a very amazing instructor and this course as well will be uh, very good i can definitely say that second thing is graphql so now if you have already uh, discovered a little bit about um, let's say the uh, rest apis and the backend development graphql is something which you should definitely definitely explore so basically graphql is an open source data query and manipulation language for apis well, you can say that graphql is something is you can say the future of apis and it is gaining popularity insanely fast and it has a huge developer community 
So how to learn this? Check out this Udemy course if you are willing to pay the Modern GraphQL Bootcamp. Again, it's by Andrew Mead and I would I can say that it would be a definitely a good course. If you are willing to uh, learn this for free, the, here's a GraphQL course by Free Code Camp. Again, this will be a very good way to get started with it. But remember the 2010 rule. First 20 days, you have to do some videos or, or, you, or some learning. You can reduce that as well and increase the time doing of, that you do is your side project. But yes, don't forget about the implementation part because implementation is very, very important. Third thing is progressive web apps. Yes, you heard it right. PWAs are gaining popularity insanely fast and uh, there are going to be so many. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot into the industry so yes uh, and plus there's a huge developer community out there from where you can actually you can read blogs you can learn and this is actually a good playlist to actually get it started so yes here are the resources about the three technologies which you should definitely explore and which you can explore before 2020 ends first react redux and webpack secondly graphql third progressive web apps so do let me know if you are in this challenge of exploring these three technologies and making a side project every month and uh, i will be looking forward to your projects do let me know if you make any you can reach out to me on linkedin you can uh, you can write a post on linkedin and mention me i will uh, and tag me i will definitely have a look at it and give my reviews and so on so yes do if you like this video do like share and comment and do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you see you in the next video bye bye